Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Stardew Valley. My name is Anna Mardal. This is our 37th video and it's day one of spring for year two. So we've got a bit of money here. It's not as a lot of money, but it's uh, it's a lot more than we had than we had last year. It's gonna rain all day tomorrow. A new year has arrived. Keep your eyes peeled for any new kinds of seeds being stocked in your local general store. Hopefully you upgraded your tools during the winter and you're ready for a productive year. The spirits are very happy today. They'll bless everyone with good fortune. I said in a previous video that I didn't have any Geodes to process. I think that was wrong. Leah! Hi, Anna! Are you free this afternoon? <laughs> Kinda not, Leah! I finally got my act together and I'm doing my art show tonight in the town square. Come into town between 3 and 5 if you want to be there. So there must have been some kind of, um, there must have been some kind of coding to keep her from doing it during winter. Hello there. My name's Kent. I just got back last night from overseas. My wife told me a new farmer moved in while I was gone. Well, I just wanted to introduce myself. I'll see you around. Kent likes beer. So, we're gonna put one of those in our pocket to give him later. Dear valued customer, thanks for visiting Pierre. Closes the cashback rewards program. Sorry for the stock message, Anna. Notice, the price of raw materials at Robin's shop and Clint's shop has increased, and we have cherries and apricots. That is not much of a warning about the raw materials. I saw someone say, they said online that the game warns you um, that the prices go up, and I would not call that a warning. I would call that a, a notice, I guess. Um... But we have been, we have been duly noted. And boy, howdy, did we get a lot of growth for spring. And all our animals are out again because they can, they can be out. The weather is uh, mild. And that saves us a feed cost, so... Woohoo! Hello chicken, hello duck, hello goat, hello cow, hello other cow, hello chicken and duck and... gosh, you guys are kind of hard to see. See if I can take this down without hurting anybody. There we go. All right. And hey, we finally got uh, duck eggs, which I'm extremely excited about. We're gonna put one of them in there, and we need to pull down. Well, actually, we don't need to pull down hay because we have plenty in our inventory. All right. Very excited about the duck egg because that means we can finally finish out one of our community center bundles. Alright. Gosh, I just want to shake Leah. I'm proud of her for, for getting her art show together. I am not happy about the day she picked. This is the busiest day of the year for us. The first is always the busiest. We need to clear that out of the way so the trees can be growing. Okay. Eggs. We're going to sell the first apricot and first cherry we've ever grown. And... Yeah. Uh, 
We want basic fertilizer, sap, strawberry spring, parsnip of spring, we're going to plant these mixed seeds, garlic seeds, and I think that's everything. We're going to go ahead and turn the sap into uh, basic fertilizer. The quality fertilizer is the same recipe, it's sap, but with fish added. And it is uh, any fish. So much like uh, I've been using our pickings from the daily crab pots to turn into sashimi to please people, we will eventually start using those fish to make quality fertilizer on the grounds that people are plenty pleased already and we need our fertilizer. <sighs> Cutscenes. Another beautiful day in Pelican Town. My friends. Right into the window, oh man. Oh no, you poor thing. Your wing's broken. Oh, you're a bit different from the others, aren't you? Just like me. Don't worry, I'll nurse you back to health, little one. Everything will be all right. Emily took the injured parrot into her home and bandaged the wing. He's all set up in her room, but as a token of respect, she didn't give the bird a name. Um, I think the reason I find Emily's events a little off-putting, okay, no events in there, is um, all the other events That the bachelors and bachelorettes have. Hello, farmer. This is a really great gift, thanks. All the other events have your character interacting with the person some way. So it's like, yes, this is growing our relationship. And that makes sense to me. Did you know my grandma hates garlic? With Emily events kind of happen separately from us and um, you get this sudden intrusion of a third party omniscient narrator who I'm like where did you come from who's you know telling us that she she kept the bird and didn't name him out of respect, and, and he's all set up in her room, and it, it's not like, if it was one of the other, does he even have an extra aquamarine lying around? I do. I have one in my inventory, in fact. It is almost like I started this day, got as far as the request, and then had a crash occur. That would be silly. But to finish the Emily thought, if it was any other bachelor or bachelorette, um, our character would interact with them. They'd walk up and, and she'd say, Oh, Anna, this one's wing is broken. I'm going to take it in and bandage it up, and but I'm not going to give it a name, you know. And, and I'd feel like our character's getting to know them better. We're better friends. We're, we're more interested in each other as people. And instead, it's just like I'm sort of observing her life secondhand. And for some reason, that makes me uncomfortable. Okay, this is Abigail. Stop telling me how to live my life. Hey, cut it out. We're letting you live here free of charge until you finish school. It seems like you don't appreciate that at all. Stop trying to make me feel guilty. I appreciate that you and Dad are helping me out, but expecting me to dress the way you want is ridiculous. I'm not a little girl anymore, Mom. You're right. I'm sorry. And we'll just leave. Is someone there? Nope, 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 nope. I swear this house is haunted. Oh, 
Heavens, what's going on? It's a uh, Jazzercise. Harvey's there. I've never seen this one before. All right, that concludes our aerobics class. Are you breaking a sweat? <sighs> yes. It's a Harvey scene, I guess. Anna, you were watching me? How embarrassing. I didn't want anyone to know. Least of all you. Haru? I'm just trying to stay healthy. As you get older, it requires more effort. I'm not in very good shape, though. I can hardly keep up with them. Look, don't tell everyone in town that I'm doing dance aerobics, okay? I won't tell, or I can't promise that. I won't tell. Thanks, Anna. I appreciate that. You you do know everyone in town is in this room, right? Like, this room currently represents at least one member of every family. Oh, I'm sorry. Alex and his family aren't here. That's, that's it. Animals are so innocent and sweet. If I don't look after them, who will? Oh, Anna! Hi! I do, in fact, need seeds, Peter. You know I do. Don't be coy. Give me the good stuff. All right. He does not sell strawberries. We have to, can only get those at the yearly uh, festival. It seems like I have some really cool plan. I don't. I probably should have a mapped out plan, but I don't. Partly because... One of these days I'll actually go to bed when that alarm tells me to. But today is not that day. Uh, partly because I'm not quite sure how things are going to work out with... Duck egg. There we go. Bam. It's an extra cheese press. Nice. And that completes the pantry. And that does something very cool for us. So many wonderful bundles. Thank you. Thank you. So that cleaned up the pantry and the kitchen, which the kitchen looks amazing. Look at that. That is, that is a beautiful kitchen. Beautiful pantry. Very pleased with that. Thank you, little guy. So, the only thing we have left, I believe, are the bulletin board and the, um, the vault. The vault is just money. The bulletin board is going to be very hard because it requires a pomegranate and a rabbit foot. And <laughs> we just can't seem to catch a break on those. It also requires a fiddlehead fern and a truffle. Neither, none of those are particularly common or easy to get at this stage of spring. I would like to be planting and watering my new spring seeds, but unfortunately Leia has completely screwed us over 
by scheduling her art festival for three and five. <laughs> this is <laughs> such a good example of why you should vet the dates for your art festival because, uh, yeah. What we can be doing is we can use the minecart to teleport us up to Robin's house. And from there, we can get Sebastian his aquamarine. Oh, that was the other thing I wanted to do. Well, no. Man, this day is just throwing 800 cutscenes at me and I really wanted to get our oh my god get out of the way Demetrius I really wanted to get our uh, geodes broken open because the spirits were in good good spirit <laughs> um to happen because Clint closes at four and I'm pretty sure Leah's thing is going to take us past that. But that's all right. Anything for Leah. Anna, you're here. Okay, I guess I'd better introduce my pieces. Wish me luck. Okay, everyone. Thanks for coming to my art show. As some of you know, I came to this town because I wanted to draw inspiration from the beautiful surroundings. This place really feels like home now. I'm going to introduce my sculptures. I haven't named this one yet. She started out as an exercise in human anatomy, but I ended up seeing her through to completion. Her expression is intentionally unclear is she embarrassed, amused, or pained? I'll leave that for you to decide. This one's called post-dimensional null space. It represents the boundary of human imagination. The shape and color came to me vividly when I was in a trance state. I've been calling this one eggheads. I wanted to create an animatronic humanoid statue to toy with the viewer's ability to properly attribute personhood to a physical entity. And that's... The last one is called Wood Sculpture 3. It's a celebration of my favorite sculpting material, wood. I thought it was called How I Feel About Anna. It's in my living room. Those are my sculptures. Oh, one last thing. I'd like to say thanks to my special friend, Anna. She gave me the idea for this show and the courage to go through with it. I know that sounds cheesy, but it's true. I am proud of you, Leah. Events like this really breathe life into our little town. I love your art, Leah. Post-dimensional null space is my favorite. Thanks for doing this. Thanks, everyone. Now let's start the bidding on these wonderful art pieces. A marvelous addition to your home. Do I hear 5,000 for the pink one? Where will you put it, Demetrius? I mean, not to discourage you. Oh, okay, it is. I think we might barely have time. I don't think we will. I don't think we will. But we might if we fling ourselves in the door. Town. Don't close! Ha ha ha. That's new. We don't have that one. Eh, ten iron. And I'm pretty sure we have that one. Okay, well, it's something. 
I'm not gonna turn my nose up at it. All right, donate to museum. You go here. And that's all. All right, now, at this very late in the day stage, we're going to head back to the farm and plant as much as we can, which will not be nearly enough, but like I said, anything for Leah. The good news is that tomorrow it rains, so we've got that going for us. That's not nothing. Iridium sprinklers, which is what these purple sprinklers are, will water the areas that I'm carving out here. And those will get watered every day for the rest of spring, whether it's you know rainy or not. The iridium sprinklers will take care of it. Which is really, really, really good for us. So, what I'm going to do is, on those squares, I'm going to put things that we definitely want watered every day without being skipped. So that includes our strawberries, which are rare. I really wish we had more seeds than that, but we have what we have. And our cauliflower seeds, which are, uh, they take a long time to grow, so you don't really want to miss any days with those. And we ran out of cauliflower seeds. Unexpected. I just didn't think that we would. Um, let's throw down some wild seeds right there. Alright. We can get three rows of five here. So I'm going to start on the beans that we bought here. Just five of those right there. water what we planted because as I've said several times it doesn't do a whole lot of good to get seeds in the ground if you're not going to water them that day. Like you might as well just not put them in the ground at all if you're not going to water them. So let's get them in the ground. Actually that's not, I don't think that's true now that I know that the first day's watering doesn't count. I don't know if it does or not. But if it doesn't, then that, that might not actually be true. See, I thought the game counted number of waterings, not number of days. And now I'm not sure. I may never know. But since it's going to rain tomorrow, let's actually go ahead and try to get everything we bought into the ground. We'll put. Oh, let's go ahead and put garlic down. I'm very interested in getting those planted because we haven't had garlic before. All right. Okay, 
We are definitely not going to get everything planted tonight. But, we're going to get a lot of things planted. Okay. Honestly, don't expect to be able to plant everything in our inventory because some of what I bought is bought with intention that we. have some replantings in all this. Our character is sleepy. A couple more things I need to get in the ground. If I do nothing else... Ooh, we need to hurry. Okay, we're gonna have one here. goes there, jazz goes there. And I need to put down my little sprinkler. We'll go get that. I got just enough time to get it and come back. Okay. Oh, hurry, 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 hurry. Of course it's gonna rain tomorrow, so it doesn't really matter, but there you go. So when those flowers, the jazz and the tulip grow up right there, that's going to affect the honey. It's going to affect the honey that comes out of the ground. magic happening. Because we finished the duck eggs, we have a greenhouse now. And that's a, a big deal. <laughs> a big deal. Very excited about that. Um... So, give me just a second. I have to think. Thinking requires quiet concentration. Okay, there it is. Hopefully we won't have a bunch of cutscenes. I am now selling higher quality fer fertilizer as well as new crop selection. Here's a recipe for my saloon. I only share this with my good friends. Thanks again for coming to my art show. I sold nearly all of my sculptures and everyone was so positive and encouraging. I hope to see you again soon. That is exciting. 
I'm very happy for her. Okay, we'll get that later. Hey, Chip. Right now, we need to... Hey, hi. You want some attention, huh? Okay, I'll see what we can do. My mommy's got a busy day ahead of her. She's got to plant fictional crops. So fictional people will have fictional food. You can see how that's important. But I think your mom's pregnant. I must confess, I'm having a hard time explaining why you're wrong. Maybe you're not wrong. Maybe you're not pregnant. There's my stress. That is so thoughtful of you. You are such a thoughtful woman. I hope everyone appreciates what a sweet baby you are. is to get all of this flat out and planted. Okay, but seriously, is that a ghost? Because there is no frog on earth that sounds like that. And I'm pretty sure ghosts exist in this universe. just planting things at random in case you're thinking, oh, Hannah has a clever plan that I'm just not able to see. 
Yeah, I'm just planting things randomly at this stage. Eventually, okay, the goal is, and it's going to take a while, um, the goal is to eventually have this whole area, this nice big area we have for ourselves over here, uh, seeded with iridium sprinklers. That's why I've been making a habit of going to the store, the sewer store, every Friday and picking up his iridium sprinklers because the plan is to eventually have this whole area just auto watering every day and all you have to do is just stroll in and pick things up out of the ground which will be very cool um, but obviously we are not there yet we need um, a fantastic amount of money actually in order to pull off all those iridium sprinklers but also we just plain need um, time to go collect them all. Did you fly? I'm trying to be cool about it, but it is... Wow, you stink. Are you feeling fluffy? Did that treat today not sit right with you? You were hiding earlier like your tummy was hurting too. I really hope it's not the treats. You love those treats. Did you eat something you weren't supposed to? I did catch you licking ham and I had to take the ham away from you because that's not for you. Ham is not for kittens. That's a no. That's a bad. Okay. So we're actually going to be able to plant everything except the kale. Which is uh, quite a lot, actually. Oh, I still need to plant. Hey, baby. I love you so much. You are the best baby in the world. Okay, we could probably... Yeah, we could make room for it. It's just a matter of carving out the area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Chip has got us in crisp. Fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. I did not expect to be able to put everything there. So there is no way that we're going to be able to harvest or uh, water all those on a good day. Like that is not even, that's not on the table, it's not in the cards. We know this. We're not going to be able to water all those. What we will be able to do is there will be days where rain helps us. So, and we put the, um, the ones that take the longest amount of time, the really time critical ones, we put those on sprinklers. So the, the strawberries, the, 
which are recurring, they, they go several times. The um, cauliflowers, which take time. Oh, we still do not have wood. That is a shame. All of those things are taken care of. So like right now, I don't want to say that we could get away with never watering our crops for spring, because I think that's probably unlikely. But we could get away with very little watering of our crops for spring. And because spring has so much rain, thank goodness, thank the farming gods, and we did put sprinklers on the important stuff. So that should all grow. And really all we're doing is we're, we have the potential to make things grow faster. So, so that's our outdoor crop. That leaves our indoor crop. Which I am going to start now. takes two seeds per, or two saps per, one, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. I was like, why did it only make two? Why didn't it take all my fish? What is going on here? So let's go look at our beautiful greenhouse. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. I'm going to plant a corner here and put this ancient seed, or rare seed, that's what it was called, sorry. And I'm going to plant a corner here and put actual ancient seeds. I'm going to plant a corner or a bit here and here, and those get the last two of my fertilizer. And into that goes that, and into that goes that. I'm also going to take the wood I have. And for right now, I'm going to put that there. Oh, you guys are being so cute. I'm going to have to take a picture. I'm going to toss this cranberry wine into that drop bin. And I'm going to pick up this seed maker. And it's going to go right there. most of our day. Okay, am I missing anything just blindingly obvious? We took care of the... We took care of the animals. We 
check the weather and the fortune, all that good stuff. Wednesday the 3rd. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Pumpkin pie. And the spirits are really happy today. Well, good for them. Good at writing letters. I made one mental word to many. I thought you might need it. That was sweet of him. Collections, that's what I was looking for earlier. Okay. Yep, there's our cherry and there's our apricot. Okay. So from here on out, at least for a little while, we're going to be hoarding those because we, we didn't have any. You know, sometimes they're called upon for deliveries, uh, recipe, ingredients, uh, birthday presents, stuff like that. So we're going to do the usual hoard up until you get five of each. We want to be thinking about, um, and in fact this might be the next time we go to town, we do want to be thinking about getting summer trees. That uh, creeps up on you real fast. But um, obviously we want summer trees so that they can be growing over this season. And by the time summer gets here, they'll have lovely fruit for us. It's real easy to forget that. As you can see, when we came over here, we already had some of our crop water. That's our radium sprinklers hard at work. And I just did something kind of funky with my can. I went from a five by one area to a three by three area. That is what the gold upgrade to the can gets you. I think the iridium upgrade gets you a... Uh, why is there go? I was like, why is the watering bin not watering that can? I think the Iridium upgrade gets you a 5x5 five five area, but I'm not sure about that. So we're going to go check on our animals, because the cows and goats have to be awake to be milked, so that is not a chore that can just be... There's something sitting on top of the cow. The provision detection for milking and shearing and all the things that you have to do with the livestock is kind of bad. And I keep thinking, duck feather! I keep thinking that, you know, that'll be fixed at some point, and it kind of never is, so maybe it can't be. Maybe it just is what it is for some reason. You would think that the game would recognize... Okay, she's probably not trying to milk the duck. Pro 
probably trying to milk the cow which is sitting on top of the duck. You'd think the game would recognize that. You would be wrong. People love duck feathers. It's it's a rare item after all, but um, I end up giving them to Elliot because he loves duck feathers, and I love Elliot, so that works out well. I wonder if he makes quill pens out of them. That sounds ridiculously hard, but I can see Elliot at least wanting to try. We are kind of, right now, waiting for trees to grow so we can chop them down. And while I'm pretty sure they grow faster in the forest than they do on our for farm, they definitely weren't grown when we ran out and checked yesterday. So now it is something of a waiting game for that to happen. We will keep checking in the forest, and of course we have to go to the forest every Friday and Sunday for the traveling cart, so... Huh, I vastly under overestimated how much time the watering would take because I really did not think we would be able to do it all in a single day. And here it's not even... I really finished before two. That surprises me. I really did not think we would be able to finish in a single day the whole thing. I was like, well, you know, eventually some of them will get harvested and, you know, there's obviously there's going to be rain days and it'll all be fine. You know, we'll get more time from, from when the harvest and, but, hmm, impressive. That, I guess, just goes to show what a good upgraded tool will do because we certainly could not have done that much coverage with our piddly little non-upgraded <laughs> watering can. Um, kind of want to give Kent another beer since we have not the highest relationship with him. He's new, so obviously he has no idea who we are, so we're not best friends yet. But maybe we can fix that. I need y'all to know that Chip climbed into Chris' basket and put his arms around his neck. And I am just dying of cuteness. How can I possibly, possibly pay attention when this cuteness is going on? Not even a foot away from me. Hi, dear. You're cute too. I'm feeling morose today. I wish there was more certainty about the future. I don't want to grow old as a little lonely old hermit on the beach. Oh, my heart. Probably gonna end up marrying that man, just because... I'm weak. 
Also, and I don't care if this is shallow, I really like his spouse room because it basically adds this beautiful library to your house. And how, how, how could I say no to a beautiful library added to my house? shouldn't even know about. Huh, okay. You make a chirp. There are only two things I like about this town. One of them is the beach. The other one is a secret. <laughs> oh, Haley. Hey, Sam. Do you like me? I've been friends with Sebastian for a while. He's a pretty cool guy. You can use a scythe to cut grass. Thank you, Marnie. Thank you, Penny. Thank you, Cookie, for getting in front of the screen. Yeah, I should get in front of the screen. You should dosh. She has a fat tongue. You should dosh. It's funny, she, she weighs less than Chip. But... She feels extremely dense to the touch. Like she's packing a lot of cat into... Guys, please don't fall. She has no concept of gravity at all. Why wouldn't I stretch him? end up half off the desk. I I literally can't see Cookie. You are completely in the way. How is it only seven? How? That's amazing. Well, I tell you what we ought to do is if I could see my screen, which I totally can't. We ought to go around looking for uh, forage items to pick up. Okay, this is ridiculous. Cookie, I'm sorry. I need you to move, sweetheart. I need you to move. I'm sorry. I need to see my screen. I'm sorry. I'm really am. guys fight, you're gonna fall off the desk. Oh my gosh, it's like herding cats. Look, our sprinkler over here is working fine. Good. Okay, I'll make a note. Tomorrow, we need to go to Piers. Oof, that won't leave us very much money for... Maybe we can sell some of this. I don't need 10 aquamarines, I don't need 15 frozen tears, I don't need 16 jades, I don't need 7 rubies, I don't need 7 emeralds. Okay, 
that'll, that'll give me a little bit. And the other thing I could do is I could go ahead and sell all my produce on the grounds that I'm going to have fresh stuff coming in. That's okay. Because I really, really need to get some summer trees started. And I want to do so without cutting so much into my money that I can't buy an iridium sprinkler. Every week, gotta have enough for the iridium sprinkler. Every week, gotta have enough for the iridium sprinkler. <laughs> there will probably be another harvest of all this maple pine tar sap stuff before resin, sorry, before I need those for crafting, so I'll throw those in too. Okay, now we just need to remember that when we get our crops harvested, we've got to bring some back to the house to store. Don't forget that. Uh, all right, there we go. That earned our the trees that we'll be buying tomorrow. But that will have to be in another video because we are going to end here. So I'm going to say exit to title. And I need to take a note that tomorrow we're buying trees. Taking a note would probably be easier if I had a pen. There's a pen. Summer. This has been Stardew Valley. My name is Anna Marcon, and I'm really glad that you're here with me. I will see you in the next Let's Play. Thank you. Goodbye.